Guam is good, Edward M. Calvo's parting words before passing from cancer and also serves as a mission of the Edward M. Calvo Cancer Foundation. Those three words moving his family and loved ones to form the foundation in 2004. Our mission was simple, to honor his legacy of generosity and his immense love for Guam by providing financial support to individuals in our community who are diagnosed with cancer. Jennifer Calvo, president of the EMCC Foundation, speaking before lawmakers in support of a bill that would address the underfunding of the Guam Cancer Trust Fund. The fund has made it possible for a handful of Guam nonprofits to provide services and ease the financial burden of those afflicted with cancer. From our inception until 2012, we relied solely on private fundraisers such as 5Ks, galas, and other events to sustain our mission. In 2013, they applied for a grant from the Guam Cancer Trust Fund Council and are blessed by the continued of support provided by it for over 10 years. Cavill reiterating the need for Bill 355 as it will allocate $2 million to the Guam Cancer Trust Fund. The foundation is one of several nonprofit organizations that support our local cancer community with the help of the Guam Cancer Trust Fund. The additional funding proposed in Bill 355-37 is critical to ensuring the continuation of essential services to Guam's cancer patients through the comprehensive administration and management of the Guam Cancer Trust Fund Council, Council, which selects the recipients of these funds and oversees and enforces their compliance with statutory mandates for the use of these funds. Calvo also noting the undeniable need for access to essential care. Approximately half of the applications received annually by the foundation are for first-time applicants. The other half are applying for consecutive financial assistance for their second, third, fourth, fifth years, and up to 11, 12, and even 15th years. If the bill is passed and funds are allocated, it will allow nonprofits like the EMCC Foundation to help the island's cancer patients as they navigate through their cancer journeys. Jonagan Charfris, KUAM News.